we have here a list of persons and the points they get in a test. So what we want, we want to use filter by color. So let's select all the points here, format, conditional, condition, and we want every cell that it's less than six to be with red, okay. And if it's greater or equal to six, okay, we want to have a good a fill, okay. So we have with red uh, small numbers and with green big numbers. Now on the left we have students that usually learn good, and some of them usually learn. Uh, not so good. So we want to mark them with green. So let's see. These are very good students, usually. Not on this test, usually. So let's see uh, now what students have bad results, but they are good students. So let's uh, disable auto filter. So by default, you have something like that. You click here or here and go to data, auto filter. Now from here, filter by color and let's change background color and we choose red. We want to see bad results from good students. So we choose red and from here, filter by color, we want to choose from font. We have good students with green. So these are the good students usually that have now bad results. Of course, uh, we can um, choose from here um, bad students with bad results. Let's uh, see, we have uh, bad students with good results that have remarkable results on this test. So from here we can choose the background or the font. Uh, let's uh, clear the filter everywhere. And now let's mark the bad students with red. So we can see them easier in the filter. So now let's do again the filter. We have red and green. So we have red background and here green font. So it's very easy to work with colors. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.